What's going on fam? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Golden Mate 1000 V8 of the 800 watts of pure power baby in the pure sine wave format and advanced lithium battery technology. You know how we do. Let's dive in and bust this wood. Golden Mate reached out and said, Savage, do you want to test this out for us and do a review? I say, sure. And they dropped this battery mohemoth on me. I told them I did have some concerns since I was traveling and this is my travel setup. But anyway, I have a powerhouse with me. I have two computers running. They both have 1300 watt EVG power units. One is running a 3080 Ti and the other one is running a 4090. I say this could be a problem if we're only pushing 800 watts total. If you caught the intro, you can see that we're at 800 watts already. We're gonna dive into the test here shortly, but right now, let's see how gorgeous this baby looks. So we have lithium batteries that's powering this UPS. Golden Mate says it has a 5,000 cycle life. So this UPS is gonna protect your electronics that you have plugged into it from power outages, surge protection, fluctuation in voltage, which is gonna provide clean electricity to your electronics that you have connected to it. Also, it's gonna be good for your computers, your workstations, your telecom equipment, your servers, etc. So this unit weighs in at about 5.8 kilograms or 12.79 pounds. This unit has four outlets on it. They also have a variant with eight outlets, also in the color gray. This is your reset button, and this is your BE425M data connection. As you can see, we have a nice LCD screen pushing out the voltage, the wattage, the usage, and the state of the battery. The charging time is less than 10 hours. Also, the backup time is less than 30 minutes, running at 400 watts at about 25 degrees Celsius. This is a pure wave sign unit, so you can get that good, clean electricity to your components. So, we're gonna get this unit powered up, and we're gonna start this test. And we're gonna get it to around 300 watts. That's pulling around 300 watts. Remember, it has a plus or minus 50 watts at this 350 range. Perfect, no hiccups at this point. And as you can see, we're pulling about 300 watts off of that battery at 120 volts, 119 volts. All right, so now we're gonna jump in and we're gonna bump the wattage up a little bit higher over the 400 range and let's see what it does. That was expected. Let's see how much sound this baby is putting out. So I'm like two inches away. So here it is in black and white, the specs that I was telling you about, your boy Savage. So as long as you're not over 400 watts pulling from your system or your equipment or what have you, you're gonna be fine. It should give you enough time to shut down your system, you know, save your progress or what have you, and you should be good to go. No gaming, no intense graphic cards usage, because you're gonna jump up into that 800 plus wattage easily. And I get it, and I understand the noise and why the beeping is so high. What if you have this unit in a server rack and the door closed? You know what I mean? You wanna be able to hear this. You wanna be able to hear it when it goes off. This unit will give you time to save your progress. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. And if I'm about to lose all of my hard work, I want somebody screaming at your boy Savage telling me, man, come save yo. You know what I'm saying? Golden mate, sad, UHD. Do it how you feel.
This is your boy Savage. Out.